Shalom. Call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Kadash. Double honors to Elders and Apostle Great Millstone who rule and teach well to the brothers in the Hopeful Lake. Shalom, Shalom. To the brothers pushing this truth. Shalom. Now, this is just a quick touch up. When this when this societal collapse happens, it's going to be a instantaneous thing. It will not be. Um, it will have a slow burn aspect like we're in societal collapse now because of inflation and the deterioration of um, uh, socialization, so on and so forth. So but when that, you know, these apocalyptic events, when it's, you know, the apocalypse, when it's just um, pure chaos, no more. 911 cuz you still can call 911. You can you know, you you understand what I'm saying? You can still do things like that. You can still go to Walmart. You can still use Uber Eats. Um you still got power. You still got indoor plumbing. But it's going to come a point where one day you're just going to wake up and all that's going to be gone, man. And that's prophecy. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 from the top verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that are right unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai, so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are the children of light, and as the Israelites. Specifically the elect and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober for they that sleep, sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are who are of the day be sober, putting on a breastplate of faith that goes into that that plot armor and love and for an helmet, the hope of. Of salvation for Yahweh have not appointed us to be to us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So this this coming collapse is literally is gonna be a day like like they show in them zombie apocalypse movies or these uh crazy disaster movies. It's an event, and as soon as that event happens, um people just go Bad shit crazy. They go to grocery stores. They go to wherever they can get food, supplies, water, medication, and weapons. They they ransack it completely, like they seen in World War Z, where they the, the man, the dude, what was it, Ben, whatever that famous actor's name is, I forgot it. I think it's like Ben Affleck or something like that. Maybe off. Anyways, that's besides the point. He went to the grocery store, and people were going crazy. You know, they're taking all the food, medication, they, 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 they're just losing their minds. And even a cop, you know, the dude, I think he shot somebody or something, I forgot, basically had a gun, you know, just pointing it. You know, if you point a gun at somebody now, especially if you're Israelite, you're liable to get 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 a couple holes in your in your body. But the cop seen it. And the dude was like, oh, yep, he got me. And the cop went and got like baby formula or food. Because, you know, in, in, in this societal collapse, everybody's going to be every man for himself. You know, I think it was like 10,000 cops in New York City that resigned. And like a lot of cops in Chicago are going to Wisconsin and Minnesota because they, they don't want to deal with Chicago anymore. So when this is going to be it's going to be a day, it's going to be a day. That we don't know, you know, but it's going to come a day where everything is going to change and there's no going back. It's just going to be survival of the fittest and the, 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 the fittest will be the elect. And you two thirds and Esau are going to be prey out here. So let's go to um, second Ezra, the sixth chapter and scroll down a little bit. That also goes into this sudden destruction. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. So these are like uh, uh, crops, you know, cornfields, farming. Like in Egypt, the locusts came in and devoured their crops. That's what it goes into sown 
be suddenly being unsown. So suddenly means out of nowhere. So it's going to be a day where it just suddenly just stops, you know. And the full storehouses, so storehouses is, is your grocery stores, your Walmarts, your Aldis, your Targets, your Food Towns, your Kroger's, shall suddenly be found empty. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still. And in three hours they shall not run. Whosoever remaineth from all from all of these, from all these that I have told thee, shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. So this societal collapse, wh whoever makes it through, that's an Israelite, is um gonna receive salvation. They're gonna be clothed in white. They're gonna receive those palms, like Ezra saw. Let's get that scripture. Second Ezra 2 and 46. Then said I unto the angel, What young person, Yahweh Shai, is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? And that's a cut to um that's a cut to uh you heathens out there and you 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 Israelites that don't have the true the hundred percent truth that say the apocrypha isn't a part of the scriptures because uh the apocrypha Talks about Yahweh Shai. You understand? So Yahweh Shai was first mentioned in the Apocrypha, not the New Testament. And the Apocrypha came before the New Testament, and Yahweh Shai himself even quoted from the Apocrypha. So this let's review the whole chapter. Let's go to um what was around the 46th verse. This is verse 47. So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the most high whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh. So it's Yahweh Shai. And I think second Ezra's, uh, I can't remember, but it literally says Yahweh Shai's name. And I believe that's the first time that Yahweh Shai was directly um, named in the scriptures is in second Ezra's, I think the seventh chapter. Let's see. Yep, perfect. Second Ezra seven twenty eight. For my son Yahweh Shai, not Jesus. All right, because for first and foremost, Jesus is when you translate uh, Jesus to Hebrew, it means some some pig shit, man, literally. And when it translate to 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 Greek, it means um, Jesus, hail Zeus, because the letter J was created in the sixteenth century. Less than 400 years ago, it was no letter J. So it's impossible for his name to be Jesus, man. That's Esau Edom with his blasphemy. It's the proper way is to say his name is Yahweh Shai, which means he saves. Second Ezra 7 and 28. For my son Yahweh Shai shall be revealed with those that be with him, and they that remain shall rejoice within 400 years. And just for, for proof, that's directly talking about Yahweh Shai himself. Let's go to the full chapter real quick. Perfect. Verse 29. And after these years shall my son Hamashiach die and all men that have life and all men is talking about the Israelites. It's not talking about you, you heathens. You understand? Because these scriptures are only for the Israelites. But you can say in a way that if the Israelites weren't on top, that um, if Esau was still reigning on earth, no flesh will be saved. So everybody would die. 
but the salvation is only for the Israelites. Let's get um Let's get this right here. Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days shall be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the days are going to be shortened for the elect. And the elect are um, the Israelites. Isaiah 45 and 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. So, yeah, man. These scriptures are undefeated. And uh, I'm going to just end that off right there. Shalom.